Okay, everybody can hear me. Welcome back to Crazy Acres, where it was warm today. Okay. Yes, I finally cooled down from the feeding on the hill. Problem is in the afternoon feeding, that sun barrels right down on you. In the morning, it's a little cooler. In the afternoon, of course, it's the hottest, and that sun's right down on you. Dogs are doing all right. They're slowed down a little bit because of the heat, but they're still moving. Age. <laughs> Problem with that, Linda, is that I can't do this and hold the puppy at the same time. I think the unwritten rule is I don't touch the puppies until they are able to run to the bottom of the hill and back. I'm not the puppy guy. Thank you, Punky. She's complimenting uh, us on Tanner being a good kid. Mariah has had puppies before, right? Yes. Who? Mariah? No. No. That's right, she's two now, right? Two. Uh, Mariah's personality, wow, that ties up some time. <laughs> she is a great dog. Um, she loves the house life. She does very well at my house. Uh, but she she's very smart. Uh, very smart. But she does have some personality quirks. And one of her biggest things that took the longest time for us to get used to in my house was she loves to stare. She will have a staring contest with anybody. And really, it's just her attentiveness toward you. I can sit there and she'll just sit and stare at me, or my wife, or Tanner, uh, whoever she wants to stare at. Um, at first we were trying to see if maybe she wanted something, to go out or something like that, but she's picked up after Charlie now. If she needs to go out, she'll walk to the door and take her nose and hit the doorknob. So we know that she needs to go out. So she's picked up pretty quickly. I have no fences in my yard and neither one of those dogs leave the grass area. And that was my biggest concern when I agreed for Mariah to come to my house was I didn't want to have to make that bad call to Carlene that Mariah either got loose or got hit. But she's been there now six months or better and she doesn't leave the yard. Sort of like Charlie, they kind of won't leave the yard area uh, and actually, if I walk in the house, they kind of both run in the house to find out if, that, if I'm doing something more fun than they're doing. And I try to explain that to some of the recipients that I deal with specifically, the veterans. Um, setting that invisible barrier uh, in your yard. And from what I'm hearing from at least the veterans that have gotten back with me that it takes a little time, but they do get used to it, and they do realize. And once they realize that's their area that they can go in, they pretty much stick to it. That's where recall is very, very important. If you have really good recall, calling the name of your dog and telling them to come, and they do it quickly, you will have less of a problem with that, setting that invisible barrier around in your yard and the way I've always recommended it is when the dog gets distracted doesn't necessarily mean that they're on the edge of the yard or something like that if you wait till the dog is distracted and not paying attention to you so much and then do a recall to catch them off so you're sort of distracting them by 
calling them in, on a recall and then keep practicing that when they're not paying attention. Anybody can pass a test if you study. Where you need to pass a test is when you don't study. So once they turn their head and get distracted with something, I recall them. And once you get them to recall every single time, you'll have little problems with setting these barriers in your yard. Besides that, I'm too cheap to buy the invisible fence. When I, when I talk about the invisible barriers, I, I let them know specifically where the edges of my yard are that they can go to. So I will often put them, when I initially start out, we'll have them on a longer leash, about three, four times the length of what I normally use or you see me around here using. I will not bring them to the edge. I let them get to the edge. And when they get up to the edge, I use, you'll see me do this feeding and everything else when I don't want a dog to go somewhere. I do this little waving thing with my hand like this. So I will keep doing that on the edges of where I don't want them to go anymore. Before you know it, they'll start looking at you to make sure that they can go that far. And as long as you stick to your boundaries, you can't keep changing it. You have to be consistent on what you want. They'll figure it out. And the key to that is when they start looking at you, you know they're looking for some advice. Now, Charlie doesn't really like baths. Charlie doesn't like water. Um, but he will do it. He knows he has to. I mean, there's nothing worse than a stinky dog. And Charlie goes out so much with me, he really has to be a little cleaner than he is sometimes. didn't see it but I was told when she was leaving that she had brought a bunch of stuff again. You bought a bunch of stuff. <laughs> I've already goodies. I've already gotten into it. It's very nice. Except now we're gonna have a little plastic box that what are they doing? And if you'll watch around I have a little last little tidbit. You'll notice if Carlene, myself, Megan, uh, and there's other people when you're walking around the farm, I know you guys watch us a lot, and all of a sudden we change direction because we either hear something or see something that's out of place. It's body language, and just even the tone of the bark a lot of times will tell us that there's something going on. Um, that's why you'll sometimes I'll be walking across the parking lot, and all of a sudden I'll hear something that isn't quite sounding right, and I'll go over there. Um, you can tell a lot by these dogs just by the tone and the body language. Some of us turn around and other <laughs> Because we do it again, I, I know some of this is repetitive, but if you don't fix the problem when the problem happens, you're That's creating right. more problems. You got a problem, right? That's right. So um, if you know, just as an example, two dogs don't get along, you need to address that problem right then and there. Or otherwise, it'll it's gonna happen when you're not paying attention or you're nobody's right directly there and the results are gonna be worse. So we always address the problem. When it happens, we don't just say okay and walk away from it. Allies are people with common enemies. So if you yell at both the dogs, then they'll say, oh, okay, and they'll pay attention to you, each other. I wonder how that applies to politics. <laughs> what do we have for shampoos for these dogs? We use... Um, Bio-groom. Bio-groom? Excuse me. Bio I mean, I see it all the time, but I don't look at the yeah, label. Bio -groom. Uh, there's two kinds. There's the shampoo, and then there's waterless shampoo, which is if you're trying to cheat. You just need a dog to yeah. look light quick. We use light a lot of the, sh the waterless when we have to take them out real quick, and we don't have time to completely yeah. wash them. It makes them smell better and look white. Yep. I used to use it all the time in the movie. <laughs> all right. It is mail call the time. Other, the other one we use is skin problems. The chlorhexidine. The chlorhexidine shampoo. If they've got any sort of messy skin problems like baby
Oh, we have to mention that Donna, or Donna, Dawn and her sister left today. Yes, they did. Her sister did a great job on the oh, wall down oh, there. It looks oh, beautiful. It looks wonderful. And I gave a message to Dawn to tell the kids when she goes back to school that they should send a question every day. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yep, fine. Bring a question. Charlie doesn't chase squirrels. I cured that problem real quick. <laughs> what did you do? Well, I told him not to, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie responds very well to my tone of my voice as well. See, it works both ways. And uh, Charlie knows what's right and what's wrong. Occasionally he tries to get away with something, but very seldom. And it's usually minor at this point. Oh, God. Oh, dear me. Okay, okay. mail calls up. I'm going to move this little chair out of the way. Okay. I think I'm Yes. Huh? Puppies? Puppy weighing? Who, who's here? Devin's in there and... Devin, are we having a puppy weighing or no? We could live without it. We weighed him twice yesterday. No, she said it's okay. We weighed him twice oh, okay. yesterday. Okay, never mind. Okay, so we're not going to do that. Oh, okay. That's the best thing we got for packages. Oh, no, we have packages. Oh, we have all this to play with. Oh, okay. Well, the pair of scissors are regular scissors in there. They're not there now. They're gone. I do like a regular pair of scissors. I got shears. But there we go. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what we have. That's what we have. Okay. Yeah. Okay. that up for everybody? Never underestimate an old woman protected by a great name. That's a good one. I like that one. This goes in any thing.
1950. That makes me old. Baloney! I got her beat. Okay, I did all that. Oh, well, then we got all this. 
Somebody came to visit us today and bought all kinds of. It was Maggie, Maggie's great aunts. Maggie's great aunts. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay. They're two very nice ladies. Very nice ladies. Um, and you see what we have here. Oh my word. Cape Cod homemade cookies to go. There's trouble. There you go. You want to put that over in the cookie department? And then we have a giraffe. We have a lot of giraffes. I don't think he has any plastic on him. And then a half a lump. Boom! <laughs> Somehow I like throwing those things around. You can throw one at me. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun toys. It's a fun toy. Oh, we need those too. What are these ones? Washable wipes. Wonderful. Pop ups. There you go. They're baby tidy ears. We hide that one. And then we have some training pads. There we go. The dog boys look so innocent sitting in the middle of the pad. <laughs> Somehow ours get the front feet on them. Yeah. That's not the part that's leaking. Okay, so now we have a big bag. It's a very nice bag. Would you like a bag? Uh, sure. You got a big bag. <laughs> Good. Here's a little bag for you. Yeah. Okay, I'm over here now. I don't have any drink of water. Huh? Laura. 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 Can you get Caroline drink some water? Water. I don't know. Can you take my piece? Give us a report on whether the microphone is working from this distance. Somehow there's a day or two in a week when I have nobody, right? Mm -hmm. I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what do we got? Anybody say that the microphone is working? Move the mic closer, that's about it. Um, okay, here we go. Someone says I can hear you just fine. I don't um, understand why some people hear us beautifully and other people can't hear a thing. Maybe it's because they need hearing aids. <laughs> Someone put no. What about they're saying no too? Tonight's gonna be an exciting night. What's for dinner? I don't care. The little things full of strawberry shortcake. Yeah, eat good. enough of those. Once you have the best perfected, will you be selling them? I would like to get one. I'd like to get my friend's dog one. Probably. I'll be showing you that. They're very nice. I did have a few corrections to make. But they're good. They're good vents, I think. There we go. That's the front. I did have them turn the handle the other direction so it goes this way, mostly because Bella was said. But we haven't moved very much, so we're right there. <laughs> we can hear us. Nothing much has changed. <coughs> Oh God! It's not live. Click the live button. Yes. Yeah. Why isn't it live? Mm, maybe. It's not live. I did that before. Yeah. <coughs> oh, there you are. There we are. That yes. could be. That's you okay. right there. I'm right here. All, All right. right. Now, now we're good. Now, <laughs> now we're good. Okay. Okay. Aren't you glad you all can see us now? When is the donkey cam going live? I don't know. I, I, I've been busy. 
I could have called Courtney today. I didn't do it. <coughs> oh, and they said lo we lo they lost sound. Well, it's probably all back at the same time. Though. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <coughs> Apparently, you get your choice of picture or sound. <laughs> Not yet. People are just all saying we're back. What's for supper? Mm, the strawberry shortcake. <laughs> That's it. Other than that, we could there's order. There's eggplant. Thickly. I ate that for lunch though. Uh, there's leftover pizza. Yeah. That's mm. about it. Mm. That's about it. Unless you feel like ordering Chinese food. That's no, we got too much food. We gotta eat this food. We have about seven pizzas in there, don't we? No. There's only about like four slices left. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. A lot of people ate it for lunch today. I don't know. I can go look that if there's chicken marsala still left? No, I found the gun. In other words, what you're telling me is we have eggplant. Yeah. Okay, I'll have a small piece of eggplant. Leave enough for everybody else. <laughs> If you have your salad from yesterday. Oh, I could I could do that. Is there salad? Is there salad in there? Yeah, from last night when everyone ordered pomegranate. Really? Okay, I'll do that. People want to know who you're breeding to Mariah. Gromit. At least at the moment, that's what it looks like. But we'll work it out. The sound and the camera went off when I'm a. Uh, this person asked if you had the permit yet. Oh. I think we do. I don't have it in my hand, but I think I think the contractor picked it up. Do you know when the outdoor kennel cam V pen will be at back live? V pen's off too? Yeah. I don't know anything. Yeah, it's off. <laughs> I don't know anything. I've been writing letters all day long and I really don't know very much. But I did work out a Sudoku puzzle while I waited, which means I haven't totally lost my mind yet. Someone just said I'm... I'm <laughs> it's a hard one. It's a hard one. I'm missing Nursery, Puppy Hill, and Kennel 10. That says but you got us. <laughs> <laughs> There's okay. nothing going on there. Oh, is the Kennel 10 off? Okay. Yeah, Puppy Hill and Kennel 10 are okay. Aren't working? Yeah. Puppy Hill's not working? What? They call him Puppy Hill. It's Willow. Yeah. Oh. oh this it's is not this live. Yes, it is. If it was live, that would be red. And what was going on? <coughs> That's it live. I see it's live. If it was live, it would be red. There's the spinning circle of death. I don't want that. No one play it. I don't, I don't think it's live because usually when it's live, they turn it so I can see the clock, so that I can tell what time it is, <laughs> and that's how I tell if it's live. <laughs> that's why I have that clock down there. Yep. <coughs> so we can go now. So I'm having salad and a piece of egg later. Right? I guess so. There's no more questions. Bye. Bye. Bye.